years, I've had hanging in my office a uh, plaque that says, whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're right. And it reminds me of the story about Henry Ford and the V8 engine. And you may have heard it before, but Henry Ford, as you know, was one of the most innovative men uh, in modern industry, in, in how he created engines for the cars. He was the one that started the assembly line on how to build vehicles and putting them out bunches at a time. But you know, he had the dream that he wanted a V8 engine. So he called his engineers together and he said, I dreaming, I think we should have a V8 engine for our cars. And they all kind of looked at him like he was nuts. And he said, it can be done. So they went to work, worked a few months, worked three months. He came to them and he said, okay, how are we doing? Mr. Ford, it just can't be done. There, we can't make a motor, we can't make an engine. That's a V8. He said, yes, we can. So he sent them back again. And at the expense of not making this a real long story, after several times of this, he finally said, you will build a V8 engine. I know I have the smartest people in the industry in this company, and you will build a V8 engine. Guess what? They built a V8 engine, and he, and he was the one who pioneered the V8 engine. He had a belief that that could be done. And he, he said, we can do it, and we will do it. You know, my mother did me a favor way back in high school. When I was a senior in high school, one of the things we had was a, uh, uh, a fundraiser. And we were selling magazine subscriptions. And as it turned out, at the end of that, I, won the, I sold the most magazine subscriptions, and I won this nice award that said, Salesman of the Year, you know, Salesman... You are destined to go places in sales. I mean, it was, you know, it was a big farce, but it, nevertheless, it looked nice. And I brought it home, showed it to my mom, and she said, You? A salesman? I can, you, you can't sell anything. And at the moment, that kind of bothered me. But it, you know, I've, I, I, maybe it still does, I don't know. But uh, I went on to build a pretty decent company by selling janitorial services and, and building a, a business that we were able to sell. You see, people around you probably are always telling you that. You can't do that. You shouldn't do that. I, I can remember when I started my business, how many people were telling me I shouldn't do it, I couldn't do it, it wasn't, wasn't possible. I was married, had three young children, uh, young children, I mean preschool age, and I said I can they said, you can't. And just recently, we were reminiscing with some old friends of ours from way back then, and they said, we told you you were nuts. And if we were going to do it again today, we'd tell you you were nuts again. But by golly, you proved us wrong. See, I learned early in life that if you're going the same direction as everybody else, probably going the wrong way. My family, my business associates... They'll tell you that I don't have a reputation of conformity. I'm usually doing the things that nobody else can do or thinks they can do or should, thinks should be done, but I'm usually not conforming to what, what is really uh, going on in the company. So how about you? You think that you can get a promotion or buy that home? Or do you think you can't get it? You see, it's up to you. Keep thinking you can, and you will. Keep thinking you can't, and you won't. The decision is really yours. <laughs>